Welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. I'm so grateful you've chosen to join us today. Whether you're just starting your morning, taking a break in the midst of a busy day, or winding down in the evening, this is a moment for us to be together in God's presence. It's Sunday, September 15th, the 17th Sunday after Pentecost. Let's take a moment to become more aware of God's presence. Take a deep breath and invite the Holy Spirit to fill the space around you and within you. Come Holy Spirit. Let's pray. O oh God, through suffering and rejection, you bring forth our salvation. And by the glory of the cross, you transform our lives. Grant that, for the sake of the gospel, we may turn from the lure of evil, take up our cross, and follow your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8. Let's listen with open hearts. Then Jesus and his disciples went to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said, John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. Then Jesus began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and experts in the law, and be killed, and after three days, rise again. He spoke openly about this. So Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But after turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are not setting your mind on God's interests, but on man's. Then Jesus called the crowd along with his disciples and said to them, If anyone wants to become my follower, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what benefit is it for a person to gain the whole world, yet forfeit his life? What can a person give in exchange for his life? For if anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will also be ashamed of him when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. Now that we've been fed by God's word, let's turn our hearts to God in prayer. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. 
Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Through Christ, whoever lives to make intercession for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lift up our hearts to the heavenly places and inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. God of grace, hear our prayer. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of peace. God of grace, hear our prayer. Send down upon us the gift of the Spirit and renew your church with power from on high. God of grace, hear our prayer. May peace abound and righteousness flourish that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. God of grace, hear our prayer. Help us to proclaim the good news of the salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. God of grace, hear our prayer. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We appreciate the chance to pray with you today. If this podcast has blessed you, please share it with others who may need a moment of prayer and encouragement. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. To support our ministry, visit our website at goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what challenges you face today, God's love surrounds you. Stay well, spread kindness. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.